Hello, Dave from Hermit Hobbies, and today I'm building a massive Super 18K set from Neon Genesis Evangelion. I've always enjoyed the franchise, I knew I had to get it the second I saw it, and I appear to be the only one. For those who don't know, Ava is a Japanese franchise where massive anime robots punch monsters in the jewels. The instructions are clear, easy to follow and well printed, but that still didn't stop me making many mistakes. Hopefully you can't see them. But hey, I was tired. That's Rusty, the bane of my hobby. Anyway, the numbered bag made the build a lot quicker. I've had other projects where we spent hours and hours searching for one tiny bit, praying it's not missing. But luckily I was able to breeze through this building process with no issues. The colours in the bricks were pretty consistent, which isn't always the case with this sort of product, but it's not an issue here, especially as the colour scheme of the Ava it's based on is so distinctive. The quality of the bricks themselves is very good, except for some of the technic bits, but if it's hard to put together, it won't fall apart, right? I suppose you want that sort of toughness for a big build. It was all coming together quite nicely, and it's around this point that I realised that this thing was massive and I had no idea where I was going to put it, nor how I'd stop the cow or dog from destroying it. I mostly build Warhammer these days, and I'm beginning to wonder if I can feel this in a battle as a titan. I guess it's one way to afford you on one of those things. With the legs attached, I can finally see how tall this model was, and also hear the disbelief from my wife asking where it was going to go. <laughs> she puts up with a lot from me. It also seems to stand freely quite nicely at this point, which <laughs> considering the build includes a stand, I wonder how long it is till it topples over. It was also at this point I thought there was a mistake in the instructions with the underside of the arms, which I decided to fix, only to find that it gets sorted later on, meaning I had to undo my bodge. <laughs> Trust the process. As well as being my hobby station, I also do my day job at this desk. I guess a lot of us have a situation going on at the moment in 2021. And he is done. That was definitely worth the effort. And I think it looks epic. It's just under a meter tall at the tip of the spear, which is pretty big for a toy. I like the use of transfers instead of stickers, which means they don't look cheap. It has a hatch where the pilots go, but here's Baby Yoda, as there weren't any many figures included. In terms of posability, it can sort of. There are lots of joints in the arms and legs, but the build is horribly unstable, so it's not very practical. It can stand freely before it falls over. All that's left is to find somewhere to put it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more projects.